Welcome to another Base Bellagio video. This video is going to be about Atlas in 2022. Some people forgot this game even exists. I'm one of them. I've never played Atlas until this year, and I want to say that I am having a lot of fun. Extreme amounts of fun on private servers that are mildly modded, building my own ships, sailing around, exploring, learning all the different mechanics. I got this game, I think, for $8 on a Steam sale. You literally cannot beat the value that I've already gotten out of this game, and I haven't even fully got into the multiplayer yet. Yes, I'm playing on multiplayer servers, haven't really engaged in uh, player versus player fighting, PvP. Um, and I have engaged in roleplay. The roleplay servers on this game are fantastic. I just think that if you forgot about this game like me, never played it before, next time this game goes on sale, this is a no-brainer. You just, you know, have to pick it up. I am amused with it, to say the least. I don't own Ark. I used to play Ark quite a bit when it came out on Xbox, back when I was a console friend. Now I'm more of the PC master race. But I am enjoying this game fully and, and thoroughly. I haven't even scratched the surface yet of all the different mechanics. Just now learning ship combat, going out and gathering things, making money. I own an island. We, we're about to go put some more gold in the island so we don't lose it. You know, the upkeep. And people pay taxes based on how much they farm on my island. And I'm in a pretty popular spot, so we'll see. What else can we say about this game? You could call it an ARC reskin, right? But you would have to go as far to say that this is a reskin in every sense of the word. Wholeheartedly. Because it's a really good sailing simulator. It's a really good pirate simulator. It's a really good base builder, survival game. I, I just think that the potential here is incredible. Potential is incredible. Now, the devs, Grape Shot, I don't know the entire history. By the next video, we'll learn the history. I don't know if they bought the game, if they... Wow. We got it. Um, I don't know if they're like the devs that are in charge now. But they seem like they are a little bit more transparent than the past. The Discord has information on it. They are updating the game. They just had a wipe. They brought out some new, some new things. I need to go repair my stuff. Let's do that right now. Yeah, I just think, and with the potential of mods and the modding community, this game really, you got a lot of bang for your buck with this game. Games like it. We have to repair our equipment before we get to our island. This is one of those situations in 2022 that, you know, if you haven't tried this game yet and you've been wanting to try it, now is definitely the time to get back into the game. A lot, lot more to do than when the game first came out. When the game was just an ARC clone. Now I feel like I'm not even playing anything similar to ARC. Except the wording, like the font, you know? The combat has been fun, it's been satisfying. Shooting things, taming things. We haven't really, you know, done too much. I tamed the monkey. We have a monkey on our shoulder. It gives us some healing quality. Like auto heal kind of mildly. I'm sure the animals do different things. The ship combat has been really fun. But the most fun I've had is customizing, modding, and building ships. This is a schooner. I built all that on the back of it. That whole custom thing. I, I don't even know how far the modifications can go. I just know that everything I wanted to do, I was able to do. I built this whole thing on the back. 
right now in game, I am, you know, turning to go get some flotsam, some treasure that's floating around. So I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Things that I think... Oh, great. Server reboot in 10 seconds. Oh, pretty good, uh, pretty good warning. Pretty good warning. Let's see what happens as we make this video. What happens during a server reboot? Ay, ay, ay. There really is no pirate game on the market like this. That's why I'm talking about the potential. You know, there's other sailing games out there that aren't quite as multiplayer. I just think for pirate simulation, this game has it all. You know? Really does. Things I don't like is... Obviously, the graphics are a little dated nowadays. We are dealing with the Ark engine, the platform, you know. If you like it, you like it. It's a little bit more cartoony than realism. The servers are designed in a way where they are interconnected. I don't know what the limit is per server, but this area here is one server, these four islands. And then this area is another server, you know. This area... When you zoom out on, like, official maps, it's, it's a grid system. This one doesn't really have a grid. And then this server that I'm playing on has more maps, more servers. You go to these different teleport funnels, like tornadoes to teleport, and you go to whole different giant maps with more grids, more things to do, more places. And then within this area, we own this island. I put down a flag, have to pay upkeep. And then all these other people conquer these other areas. They each have different biomes, different things, like reasons to... I don't know if we should exit. Let's ask. <laughs> should we exit? In caps lock by accident. Community's been good. It's all depending on what server you go to. Official is definitely a mad dash and the classic Rust experience when they do wipes. The server's fresh wipe, people run to their islands. It's interesting to say the least. And then the private servers, you have more non-wiping servers or prolonged RP servers. Well, we haven't exited out yet, so I, I think we should keep sailing to get to safety. You're really safe when you anchor. Oh! It happened. Well, it's good you guys got to witness that a little bit as we are making this video. Let me know what you guys think in the description of this game. If you've played Atlas, if you think it's a good game going in the right direction, if the dev team's making good choices, is it worth the price tag and the MSRP or is it just worth a sale? I'm going to be honest. Buying it on sale for me, it just blows my mind. It really justifies buying the game, put it that way. Even spending, like, I've had enough fun with this game that if I spent 30 bucks on it, I'd be happy with it. But, you know, you cannot beat this type of fun for $8. Get out there, try it out, and I will see you on the high seas. Have a good day.